head to your favorite search engine and type in ChatGPT download and head over to openai.com forward slash ChatGPT forward slash download. Grab yourself the version that makes sense. I'm going to install it on a Windows 11 PC. Note it's an early version of the Windows app, so things are likely to change. Hit download and open the file. Whilst you install this, go grab yourself an account for ChatGPT because you'll want to sign in. That allows you to synchronize with everything you've done in the cloud version of ChatGPT. If you've got a pro account for around $18 per month, that's well worth it for extra capabilities. Hit login. You'll go through some launch screens, but you'll effectively find yourself eventually in this screen here where you've got the ChatGPT prompt. You can pin it to the taskbar to make sure it's easily accessible. Let's have a look around. If you want it full screen, you've got your full screen options there, but if you want it small, you can move it around. You can use the uh, Windows sizing options there to pop it into the side of your screen. I quite like this view because it allows me to have something in the left hand side here and also then have a conversation about that thing in the right hand side. Let's pop the two side by side now and see what might be different about the desktop app versus the chat client. I can see straight away we've still got the ability to access our previous chats. We can access our account in both of them. It's just up at the top right there, hidden in that minimized view. We've still got the ability to attach files. You can also copy and paste images with ChatGPT, which is super helpful. We can choose from the different models in both of these. And we've got those pre-baked prompt ideas and the more. Moving down to the chat itself, we've now got this new search the web option in both of these clients, which is fantastic. Something new down in the message window here is the ability to use voice mode. Now, I think this is going to be a game changer for productivity. I can have this app anywhere on my desktop and I can speak to it. Before I show you that, I'll keep that for a moment. There is another shortcut that they've introduced that's really helpful. If you press alt and space, you get the chat window wherever you are whatever context you're working in, you can just have a quick chat there. So that's really handy. The other thing they have introduced is when you have this clip here, you can take photos, you can upload files. That allows you to take screenshots from your desktop and get that straight into ChatGPT. Whereas in the client over here, you've got to either connect it to your drive or upload a file. So it's just a little bit of a speed up that you can use there. But let's get to the exciting one, which is the speech mode. I'll just mute this for now, but what you can do is you can choose the voice that you're comfortable working with. Here's what it looks like. Hey, how's it going? I'm hey, what's up? Hi, glad to meet. Hey, it's great. Hello, it's... Hey there, I've got a really great feel. Hello, it's lovely to meet you. If the... Lots of voices to choose from. I'm going to go with my native English just because it's more familiar to me. But let's give it a whirl. I've got some text in Power Automate in an action. What I want to do is I want to extract both the order number, the name and the order value from that text. And I think I want to use regular expressions. I know I can't use regular expressions in Power Automate out of the box, but I think Office scripts can do this for me. Can you give me the step by step guidance on how to implement that? You're on the right track with using Office Scripts to handle regular expressions in Power Automate. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to help you set this up. Um, step one, prepare your text in Power Automate. First, make sure you have your text available as a variable in Power Automate. This text should contain the order number, name and order value in a consistent format. Now, yeah, step two, set up an Office Script in Excel. One, open an Excel workbook in your OneDrive or SharePoint where the script will be saved. Go to Automate All Scripts, New Script. Three, replace the default code with this script to extract the required fields using regular expressions. You can see the code in our conversation history. In this script, adjust the regular expressions if your text format differs, e.g. if the keywords or symbols are different. Um, the script extracts the order number, name and order value based on the specified format. Four, save and name the script such as extract order details. Step three, use the Office script in Power Automate. One, in Power Automate, add an Excel online business action like run script. Two, select the workbook you use to save the script and choose the extract order details script. Three, 
for the input text parameter, pass in your text variable that contains the order information. Um, step 4. Extract output. The script will return an object with order number, name and order value properties. You can now use these values in subsequent actions within Power Automate. Um, this approach allows you to leverage regular expressions indirectly, enabling powerful text extraction without needing native support in Power Automate. Let me know if you need any adjustments. So how was that for you? I kind of followed that. Let's just click end there and see what we've got. Okay, so all of that information that she's just given me is in the script there. Love it. Now, I'm not going to test this out. I'm going to try it in a separate video and show you how that works. But just to give you the idea of how this new feature is going to work for you, I have a sneaky suspicion that this does work because this is pretty much what I've tried in my other video. So keep an eye out for that one. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this gives you inspiration to go and give the ChatGPT desktop app a whirl. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.